Mic check, 212, bitch. I want to take a look now at the behind enemy lines segment. Again, this is a rough idea of what I want to put together with this. Uh, this was an idea I had maybe an hour before the start of the stream, so I'm going to refine it as we move forward. But I wanted to take a look at what some of these other teams uh, that we play, our opponents, what their kind of, what their fans, what their media, how they're reacting to what we see. So we obviously know based on our own fan base and everything, we see like the Mavericks Twitter fans and on Facebook, we see the frustration. A lot of times, uh, I think I've seen more of it on Facebook perhaps, but frustration more with Dennis Smith Jr. and Rick Carlisle. Uh, not so much with Luca. Luca, people seem to be obviously pretty cool with, which, you know, that that's good at least. But I wanted to take a look, win or lose the day after a game, just see what the other team, they're kind of feeling throughout. So... Let's take a look here. Here are some clips from it I grabbed here. This is from one of the Thunder uh, Twitter accounts, Th Thunder Page Twitter accounts. And they're reacting in the middle of the game when it started getting out of hand yesterday. Went up. I like that kind of play, especially coming from Terrence Ferguson. You know, he's a young guy, second year, playing with confidence. He made four threes the other night against the Rockets. I'm pretty sure that's how the entire base probably felt. Went up. Take a look here. Now here's a here's one of the plays that I wanted to really talk about. I, I don't know how well you guys are hearing me over that. Let me bring down the volume a little bit on that. Yeah. So this this is an interesting thing. I'm still curious to see on this play in particular what the fallout is going to be uh, with Schroeder. Schroeder's got to be some kind of discipline for this. I'm I'm assuming he's clearly throwing an elbow into pretty much Dwight Powell's junk or at least dangerously close to it. So. Interesting to see what comes out of that, but Schroeder, he does have some hothead tendencies to him, for sure. There, there's no doubt there. And uh, let me see here. That, yeah, I like this one, too, from Up the Thunder. Going full hair tear out here from, what's that, Jim Carrey and Liar Liar. That, that's pretty golden. And last but not least, every this one made me laugh. Every time the Thunders start cutting into a lead. Quit playing games with my heart. That's that's pretty gold right there. So in the future, I'm going to have more of these tweets and everything lined up. Let me see if I got one that I can quote here. I might have saved a screenshot on my phone. Let's see. Let's see. Bring it back to me now here. Uh, let's see. Well, let me jump into some reaction here, rather. That's the only ones I have from the Thunder fans and pages there a lot of people not so not so happy during that game but you know what in the future we're going to take a look at individual now i'm never going to put someone on blast or like send people out on them appreciate the sub sir or uh send people out on them it's not like that i'll, I'll probably blur like individual twitter accounts when we're talking about individuals this is just supposed to be a light-hearted in jest thing just like if i had uh, a funny reaction or a bad prediction like a cold take if you will and someone shared it out there I wouldn't be upset, really, but as long as it's done in good jest, I think it's all right. Speaking of guys who have a cold take, it's important to be able to take it with a grain of salt and acknowledge when you're wrong. This is why I like this tweet that Max actually shared with me, Ranger King. This is Chris Martin Palmer talking about Luka Doncic and how wrong he was. So back in, looks like right one year ago, no. No, that, that was yesterday. Uh, so I don't know exactly. It had to be before the draft or right after it. He says, not buying this Luka Doncic hype at all. Unmoved by it. Save this tweet. To his credit, he came back and said, <laughs> first of all, he's, he's got to try a humble brag. I'm a home run hitter. I'm going to swing for the fences. Sometimes I'll be wrong. Don't worry about it if I'm wrong. Man, I just looked at the numbers. Do we have 90 people watching this stream right now on, on YouTube? That is what's up. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you dig what you're seeing, man. That is awesome. I just glanced over and saw that and was like, ooh, all right. But yes, uh, so humble brag, I'm a home run hitter. You take big swings, you miss a lot. Uh, aside from the humble brag and the I'm so great that don't worry about the fact that I'm dead wrong on this, he does acknowledge I missed on Luka Doncic. He's terrific, so fun to watch. 
Really looking forward to what he does. Will have an amazing career, incredible player. Better late than never, but I don't want to completely let you off the hook because of not just the initial super cool tweet, but the humble brag just kills me. I feel like you're you're a little too high on your prediction here for this, but I digress. Let's see here. So let's take a look now into the stock report. Now, obviously, everyone looks at the main dude, the the future of this franchise, Luka Doncic. Here are Luka Doncic's numbers through 12 games this season. Let me try and get my hand where it's not so much in the way. 20.3 points, 4.5 assists, 6.5 total rebounds, 48.9% from the field, 39.5% from three. That's actually down slightly. He was at 40 76% from the foul line, and in all in 34.4 minutes a night. The dude is doing work. His stock way up for me. Like I said, I knew he was going to be good. I knew he was going to be good. I did not anticipate, admittedly, I did not anticipate just how good. Hey, 77 viewers right now, right? Fitting, as we're talking about Luka Legend. But yes, I did not anticipate... Uh, how good he was going to be. And and I don't mean overall. I mean like in his rookie year from the jump, how good he was going to be. I have been majorly impressed with Luka Doncic. And as I was telling James, his ability to score from anywhere. More often than not, good things happen when the ball is in his hand. That's why Mav fans want the ball in his hands even more. So big respect to Luka Doncic. Can't wait to see what he continues to do. As the graphic says up there on the little screen behind me, he is the first player since Michael Jordan as a rookie to have 20-plus points, six rebounds, and at least four assists a game. Now, again, it's 12 games. It's a super small sample size. But I, I'm encouraged that he can continue that trend, maybe even go further with it. I'm not saying he's going to be 26 points a night, a night on his rookie year or anything like that, but... He came, he's come close now once or twice to a triple-double. I bet in his rookie year he gets two or three triple-doubles by the time the season's up. And I, I think just the more he integrates himself within the offense, the more touches he'll get, the better he will do overall. What up, Zip to Truth 34 Let me do a quick roll call here, man. I, I see all you guys here. I don't ever want to... If you guys... You got to tag me. Tag at the Dallas Prospect. If you're on YouTube, make sure you get my attention that way. Uh, I've seen some pop across here. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'll edit, I'll edit this segment just a smidge here where we don't have to worry about that. Let me see. I got Max saying he's ready, and I got Any saying he's ready as well. All right, we'll go with Max's segment first first here because I think he's got a little more time constraint to it. So one moment here while I bring Max on the line just as I had James on the line earlier. Takes just a moment. Uh, in addition as I'm talking about the stock report now let's take a look at Dennis Smith Jr. He's had in 11 games missed the Toronto game 15 and a half points 3.9 assists 2.6 rebounds the 3.9 assist is down. He had over five as a rookie, but he has the ball in his hands a little less. His minutes are almost identical as far as his rookie year. Rebounding has taken a step back as well, but he's shooting 45% from the field, so a very healthy field goal percentage there. I didn't realize this until today. Here, let me actually put my hand here so you can see it. 41.5% from three this year for Dennis Smith Jr., was not long ago at all that we were talking about this dude as like 22% from three on the season, and we were super frustrated with his production. Now, I don't mean to say like, ooh, everything's magically better. He's had his struggles. The last two games, he's had 10 points, and I want to say the game before that, uh, he had 14, I want to say. 70.6% from the foul line, 29.4 minutes. He His stock to me, I'm going to tentatively say his stock is up. And one of the things that also supports that as well, let me throw this graphic back up here. He is the NBA leader in spot-up shooting 
at a clip of 70.6%. And this offense, when with Luka Doncic on the team, that's perfect. That is exactly what you need. So if you can if you can keep that going, then you're golden. 